Welcome. In it was dream. it was like a family drama. You know, my my nightmares <laughs> are family dramas. They're not like a swang, you know, or anything like that. It's it's just family dramas. I wake up like, oh, thank God, it's so real. It felt so real. You know, I do that whole yeah, thing. Yeah. Um, and those are my worst nightmares. I do have nightmares of monsters and stuff like that. But yeah, I wake up and I laugh. At, yeah, I do. I wake up and I well, not every day, but Mumu. I wake up and I laugh it <laughs> off because I know it's so outrageous. But when it's the big family drama, and you wake up like. <gasps> I okay, I'm okay. I remember when um my nightmares used to be like about board work. Like, oh my gosh, I don't have a song. About radio? Yeah. You mean? Like, <laughs> I don't have a song loaded. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Like it was it was that kind of nightmare situation. Well, at least we we're living that because <laughs> if it, if if your nightmare is a technical issue, you've come to the right show. <laughs> <laughs> You now, you now have no fears because That's those right. nightmares have actually happened and you've survived them. It's called commonplace here on this show. Um, oh, by the way, our names. My name is Mo. That's Sam. That's Nico Ramos. 1 6 3 8 I want to ask you guys, though, anyone out there sleepwalk? Because I don't know anybody who sleepwalks. That would scare the F out of me. Like, forget nightmares and all of that stuff. I think sleepwalking would be the scariest thing, whether I'm the one that does it or I have someone in my house that does it. Is Thank it, God I don't. Is it just me or parang it's not as uso as it used to be? Uso. Yeah. <laughs> I, because well, like, my, well, listen, listen my son, Lucas. My, Lucas, my son, he sleeps with his eyes open. And oh. that freaks the hell out of me. <laughs> because I always have to check if he's dead. And it's never like, it's not like it's a little bit open only if you like look up towards, you know, kind of at a certain angle. He sleeps with his eyes open. Just like fully open, seventy percent open, which is oh, plenty. That's a lot. That's a yeah, lot. Yeah, it, it's pl- Nico. Seriously, Art, Nico. Oh I'm God. gonna reach over and punch him. Can I punch him? <laughs> yes, yes. So six three one zero eight nine nine. I don't know. Maybe weird sleeping things you guys do as we start off here early in the morning. Gabby oh, yeah, Eggerman, right, 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 by right. the way, who stood in, he said his dad, everybody knows, of course, the great Mark Hill, the late great Mark Hill, was a sleepwalker. No. And there was one uh, time he came into his room, uh, pulled down his pants and started to urinate in uh, Gabby's You're closet. Joking. which Which, of course, is uh, big time. Uh, so, yeah, you sleepwalk or any of those other crazy sleep things that you guys do, give us a call. Let's talk about it right now. Good morning. Hello. Hey, good morning. Hi, who's this? Uh, this is Richie. Hi, hey, Richie. I have, uh, hey, well, I have two things for you. I start off with uh, uh, sleepwalking. So my daughter, when yep. she was young, she's eight now, but when she was younger, you know those movies where you suddenly wake up and then in the dark there's a child standing somewhere? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what I worry about. It's like I don't worry about them falling down the stairs. I worry about them scaring me. No, <laughs> I had that. I had to go through that for several years. Oh my god! It was like, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's Why not don't you gun. tie her to the bed? Right. Seriously. I, well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Seriously. It's like, like middle of the night. She'll just show up, like right beside, like right in her somewhere in her room, standing, and it's like it's scared. I'm, you know, it's, I get scared. Shit. So, <laughs> sorry for that. Oh, yeah, you're and then, sorry. but 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 here's the best part, Mo. You see something I'd like to add to to the topic. But I feel like I'm the only How one about the sleep show? talking. <laughs> so have this sleep friend. talking. Yeah. Yeah. I have this yeah. friend. He's very honest with his wife. You know why? Because his wife <laughs> finds out things about him because he sleeps. He, he talks in his sleep. And and he so he can never cheat on her because he'd say yeah. something about it. Yeah, yeah. no, he can't. Yeah. He can't. <laughs> is it true? Wow. And, this is veri- and this is verified because we, when we were younger, so this is the best buddy of mine. So when we were year younger, uh, you know, I would, I, I would, middle of the night, so we'd stay up late, right? I thought, you know, there were days where I think she's, she's still up and talking to me. He's actually sleeping. It's nice. weird. Is it, is it, it true? Yeah. Is it true that when you <laughs> when you talk back to someone who's sleep uh, talking in his sleep, he will just carry a conversation with you? Like yes, he was true. Yeah. It's it's hundred for my friend. It's hundred percent true. Oh I, I really I, I thought the whole time I I would think that he's he's awake, yeah. but he sleeps. So. But sometimes, you know, the Filipino way is like, oh, tanoy mo, lotto numbers, baka manada tayo. You know, I do that. <laughs> but wow. never happened. Thanks, man. All right, You're, uh, good, good call. Good call. Good Thank first you. call. Thanks, man. Thanks. Bye. Right. Bye-bye. I've spoken in my sleep before, apparently. What did you say? What? What did you say, in- Incriminating things, apparently. Oh, my gosh. You, too. You're one of well, those? I, I can't confirm, though. I can't confirm. 
because how do you know you're doing it? No, because I woke up and said, "So you said this in your sleep," and I go, "Hmm, I don't know if I did or you're just trying to catch me." So I was just like, "No comment." Huh. Sounds like a girlfriend. Yeah, uh, yeah, who's yeah. Telling you, right? Exactly. Yeah, nice. Like you said this in your sleep, and I'm like, "Hmm." <laughs> then you go, "Did you record?" It? Yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> "No." How do I, I didn't? <laughs> I was like, "How do I know for sure?" And she's like, "I'm telling you." And I go. Was it, oh, so it was clearly about another girl. Yeah, apparently, like I, I called, like I said, Sam on, like in my sleep or something like that. And I go, hmm. You probably went, oh, KD, galing ni KD, and then she, she was like, ah, he's talking about basketball. Nope. <laughs> Lines are full. Uh, six three one zero eight nine nine is our phone number. We're talking about sleepwalking, sleep talking, sleep, all of that stuff. If there was a sleepwalker though in my house, I would then, I, I then I can't carry a weapon because I would accidentally. Hit them, them with it, shoot right. them, or they would grab it and shoot yeah, me you, with it. You, you, know, you, you, you can't get... let them know where it is. Right, right. You can't have a weapon. Uh, morning. Hello. Yeah, so let me turn off my radio first. Thank okay. you. Oh, good morning, morning Samaritan. Oh. Oh. Galing, galing with it. Award. Hi, who's I was this? In, I, was, I think I was in my third grade already. Okay. When I did flip walk uh, from my house. Uh, I, I believe I was watching Doogie House or MD then. <laughs> the last thing I remember, and then when I woke up, I was in the Sari Sari store about 60 meters away from the house. Oh my gosh, you walked out of your house? Yep, I did. And then uh, the tambais at the Sari Sari store uh, were laughing already because I took I took the money of the Oh, good. Nice. Right. Nice. You don't do and that anymore. This is fascinating. Yeah, I don't do that anymore. Wow. That is scary, man. Yeah. All right. The, the, All right. The Thanks, man. Okay. Good morning, guys. Thank you. Good morning. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. I wonder if I could use that as an alibi or an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> right? <sighs> oh, sorry, uh, sister of hot friend. I just walked in the <laughs> shop while you were taking a bath. I was sleepwalking. I'll head back out. <laughs> what about if it happens more with kids? Or is it just because we're getting more calls like that? I always thought it happened more with adults, or it's just you're that's you, that's you, you know. Mm, it happened when right, you're a kid right. all the way till you're adult. I mean, again, Gabby's dad apparently was a sleep barker as For well, sure. and yeah, it's, oh man, <laughs> I don't know what's scarier adult sleepwalker or kid sleepwalker. The, the, the kid thing is tough. Remember that that call we had earlier where you know the the kid sister would wake up. My, my my sister would do that all the time when she was young, and her prized possession when she was young wasn't a Barbie doll. It was one of those troll dolls, mm. those little things. It's not that simple. Yeah. So she would just always hold that like near the side of her head, and she would just hold it everywhere. And there were a couple of times when me and my dad would wake up, and she's just standing there next to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> I would tie them down. Seriously, I, I thought that you were sounds like it's a crime. You. No, I didn't say tie their arms and put it on the post like this was uh, Fifty Shades. I'm what saying do you mean? like a seatbelt. Here, lie down. Here's seatbelt. I'll tie you down. That seems like the kind of things that you know, if an accident happens, or if a fire goes off in your house, and, Ooh. yeah, if something happens to people, you're like, but they should all have us. Hey, no, no, no. You should no, probably no. set that fire. No, hey, no, next no, call. No, no, Morning. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hello. It's for safety. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good morning. This is Kiel again. Kiel again. Hey. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Um, yung sa ano man ano? It's not sleep talking. I sleep talk. How's that working out okay. for you? Okay. And yeah. And what's funny is my partner posts it on Facebook. So, yung mga conversation lang, hinashtag niya pa like, sleep talk with Kim, tapos yun yan. Tapos yun, nakakainis lang kasi yung random stuff lang naman yung mga sinasabi ko. Pero minsan, nag-worry din ako baka kung ano-ano ni nasasabi ko sa kanya. Pero so far, yeah. wala pa naman. Well, what you could do is pretend you're sleeping and start talking <laughs> and start going, ano mo, pag pinost mo to sa Facebook, papatayin kita. You know, you can do something like, <laughs> So so wait, so yeah, So it means that you know the things you're sleep talking about are you know, things you wanna eat, places you wanna yeah. go to, the <laughs> no. movie. Pag ikaw, nagka, pag ikaw nagka-crush sa opisina, kabahan ka na. 
Hindi, yun nga kaya nga ako kinakabahan kasi marami talaga mga, mga ano, secrets. So, so, yeah. so the, the fact that you sleep talk doesn't stop you from, I don't know, does it does it affect your behavior? Um, hindi. <laughs> hindi? <laughs> Wala yeah, okay, no, that guys. would really be my biggest <laughs> issue is now I have to live a straight life or else <laughs> I'm gonna get caught. Thanks, love. Appreciate it. Thank Thank you. Bye. Bye. Morning. Morning. So Ali here on Twitter, this is the best. Ali says, my brother, sleep talks. He prays the rosary while in sleep. Oh my That's gosh. Scary. Yeah. How That's... adorable is that? Adorable? Yeah. Really? Well, Middle of the might... night, 2 a.m., all of a sudden you start <laughs> hearing <laughs> the Hail Mary? I mean, Are you sure? I'm just thinking like, you know, I mean, like... What you say when you're sleep talking, right? I, I guess it's a reflection of your psyche or something. Yeah, but as the person listening, sure, I mean, if I heard somebody in prayer at 2 a.m. The person that's around and has to see this, I guess that's pretty scary. Uh, I'm just like, like oh what does gosh. he do? Does he does he sit up? Does he kneel down? Or like, is, is it one of those situations that that we were talking about where you wake up and someone's standing, hovering over your oh, bed, no. looking at I you with a rosary, I mean, going, "I believe in God." <laughs> I would do this. If I had a brother so, so, who would pray the rosary and I like, sort of slept in the same room, I would always have like holy water next to me and then I would throw it at her and if I would see him her, her burn, I'd be worried. And then if not, I'd be oh, oh she's just sleep talking. Because it sounds like an exorcism is needed. Like, you know, if they're just there laying in their bed oh saying that stuff. So, Dude, that's, that sound effect like legit scared me. I almost had a heart attack, you butthole. Oh. Holy Mary, mother. Shut up. Next call. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. As it was in the beginning, Hello? it is now in the world without end. Hello. Yeah, Hi. good morning. Morning. Hey, hey, who's this? Um, yes, um, regarding the topic, um, it's funny because um, Nico said earlier that it's not Usa anymore, but <laughs> I've actually been sleep talking and sleepwalking all my life. Up until oh, you do now. both. How bad you is it? You do both. Um, um, I think the worst thing that my um, sister told me is that I uh, I tend to fight a lot while sleeping. Fight with someone a lot while sleeping. Uh-huh. Um, uh, and there are uh, some instances where I uh, shout at someone. Um, some some people uh, my sister um, knows. Some people I um, some people from my office. I shout their name. I uh, uh, shout at them and tell them random things while sleeping. So are these people that you actually fight in real life or people you want to fight but don't get to? You just kind of like repress I think, it. Uh, I think a little bit of both. And uh, I'm, not really, I'm not really sure why, but it's kind of weirding me out sometimes. But, you know, it, uh, it, uh, it, it took me a lot to get used to this. But there are also other instances when I sleepwalk. And what's funny is that my dad told me about it. There, uh, there's this one time wherein I actually walk in their room and there's um, a Santo Nino on, uh, on, the, on, on a table inside the room and I went in their room and I started dialing the foot of the Santo Nino's uh, image. Dialing? Yes, I started um, dialing the, the foot. And my dad, when my dad checked on me, he saw that um, his phone was beside the Santo Nino's foot. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So I, I'm not really sure um, how that uh, happened. But I'm not that, really sure uh, how uh, you're explaining it, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. But that's, All right. Yeah, that's uh, actually the, the weirdest thing um, regarding the topics that I can um, share with you guys. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. you. Uh, thank you. Take like, care. Bye-bye. K- kitchen knives, all of that stuff that have to be put away, right? I mean, just, it's, I mean, it's not even the weapon part. I was saying earlier, it's everything. You can't live in a two-story you know, place. There, there are just other things that I think you have to go take into consideration with this stuff. I mean, yeah, if it's if it's serious like that, I I I think it would have to yeah change your lifestyle quite a bit. Yeah, like the whole staircase thing um, is kind of worrisome for me. Yeah, if yeah. If, if someone's sleepwalking, child or adult. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh. See, Sam, go back to your technical problem nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> That's a I don't have a, a song. Go back to that. <laughs> When we come back, we have more of the show. Don't go away. From halfway across the globe, it's No Twister. In Manila, it's Salmo and Nico Ramos. Good times. That's 89.9. Mahal.
withdraw lang ako. Your balance is only 50 pesos. Please take your card. Kung wala ka nang makapitan. Di lahat ng masarap, mahal. Kapit lang! Sa Jollibee, may Jolly Savers. Yum Burger, 33. Jolly Spaghetti, 50. Burger Steak, 50. 50 kita. Sa Jolly Savers, sarap payday sa presyong everyday. On the morning show, it's the world famous Magic 89.9. Thanks for being here. That's right. Sam, if you're uh, watching off the stream, <laughs> Sam's t shirt, a white t shirt, is all wet in the front. No, but you yeah. can't see it. It's, it's you know, it's not a wet t shirt kind of, you know, situation, okay? There's really right. nothing. Nico the reason why <laughs> this is the case is Nico, Nico gave Sam a, a part of his uh, what, juice or drink or whatever it is. Because he has a juicer now, right? And I was like, hey, Sam, do you want to try some of this? And, she, and she's like, sure. She opens, she opens the, the bottle, right? And she doesn't want to put her mouth to it because she's sensitive like that. I, know, I, I was being sensitive for you. Right. And well, then, well here, here's what, okay, we, we have to kind of describe more in detail because everybody knows what we're talking about. When, a, when you give somebody a drink, yeah. like your drink, they either do two things. They're going to drink it with their lips touching the cup, mm -hmm. or they're going to do that thing where they pour it into their mouth so their lips don't touch your cup. Yeah, you now, let it hover. Yeah, like Michael yeah. Jordan in a Gatorade commercial. I'm, I'm, uh, I don't know what I want more. Like, well, so, so if it's a girl, please put your lips all over it. Yeah, by all means, just lick it. I don't care. But if you, d I don't know, because like, if I see a person do it, I'm like, you know, if they don't put their lips on the cup. But then when they put their lips on their cup, I'm like, you're, you're so disgusting. <laughs> now, you're, now your lips are all over my cup. I'm torn. I don't know which, which I prefer. I say, you know, just, just to be on the side of caution and, and don't. Just in case they're sensitive about it. Yeah, that's yeah. how you wind up. That's how you wind up with in, juice all over your shirt. In a wet t-shirt contest at <laughs> yeah, but 640 you know, sometimes, in the morning. You know, sometimes you're, you're at the MRT or wherever, and then there's a person there that's wearing that medical mask. And you're oh. like, ah, ar, arte momento. Ah. Ano I mean, like, like if, you know, in, like, say in, in Korea, though, like, they're very sensitive about that. You see people wearing those really? masks all, like, everywhere. Um, I guess it's a cultural thing. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, it drives me crazy. Like I know you're, uh, but I know it's a positive thing. Like you're doing it. Yeah, of course you yeah. should do that. Yeah. But to me, it's like what? You're, you're too special for our air. <laughs> you know, like, I always gotta get that. <laughs> I get I get defensive about well, it. Get secure. <laughs> all, all right. Our, well, I remember uh, being at an event once, and uh, one of the persons I was working with had a mask on. So I was like, oh. And then uh, she said, sorry about the mask. I'm sick. I don't want to get any of you sick. Right, and, I was, right. and, and then I was like, oh, now I feel bad. <laughs> no, I'm still, like, you have to be terminally ill for me to like say, okay, you can wear it. <laughs> Like, if, if I saw the mask, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, are you just, you don't want to get sick? No, no, I have tuberculosis. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, no, they're all you. Yeah, no, wear it. Here's, 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 no, yeah, you're pulling it off. off. You're pulling it yeah, off, actually. Yeah. You look Put good. Put three, four you more on good. while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Sam, speaking yeah. of Sam, yeah. she's the go-to person when we want to talk about uh, things in the news. Oh, please don't say that. So Sam, what's going on? Well, I, th I just, just, you know, was um, scrolling through Twitter last night, and I saw something interesting. There was a hashtag going around called... Don't tax my beauty. And this is in reference <laughs> to... I say this all the time. <laughs> Only in the Philippines. <laughs> this is in reference to the vanity tax that um, What's this? They're, they're discussing right now. So apparently, um, the Department of Finance is considering uh, proposing tax fuels to be, to be... I'm sorry, fuel products to be taxed, right? Yep. And uh, Ako party list representative Rodel Batokabe said that maybe instead of doing that, we should tax uh, beauty and cosmetic products and services instead. Be and this is hunk. gaining support. So yeah, it's called the vanity tax. And um, Is really he an old man who just looks angry at the world? I, I feel like no there's a great, great old like. man line no coming up. I what he looks like, actually. But I just thought it was so funny how he said, like, um, you know, those who want to be, quote-unquote, attractive, good-looking, and gorgeous <laughs> should pay for the cost <laughs> rather than the <laughs> poor. Um, so, you know, women and, and some men are saying... Nico. <laughs> yes. First of all, I just want to get this out of the way. Congressman, 
Don't tax my beauty. <laughs> Do not tax my beauty. <laughs> Alam mo, ang mahal-mahal na ng makeup ha, in fairness. It um, is, and, and of course, makeup has the greatest, I mean, if you're a makeup producer, like a business, though you that's there's big money there because yeah. makeup costs nothing to make. And you can sell it for outrageous prices. Now that there's going to be a tax on it as well, at least this this is what this guy's hoping is, he's going to achieve. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, don't tax my beauty. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's going on. I thought it was really interesting. I want to ask you because again, you know, Chopper, Ch- Ch- Chopper's pretty. I mean, I you know, I don't she's wanna, very I don't pretty. Say, but she's she's really really pretty, yes. right? And like this morning again. Uh, her alarm goes off, and I check the time, and it's 5 a.m., and I'm like, oh, man, Whoa, What time so does she early. have to be at work? She has to be at work at 8. Wow. Right? So I'm looking, and I'm like, oh, it's 5 a.m., and she's like, yeah, yeah. But you know, she, she oh. wakes up so she can do her makeup, and I'm like, my God, uh, you don't even need it, though. Oh, she's nah. pretty. But she's really, really pretty. But she has to shower. She has to dry her hair. Drying her hair takes an hour. The concealer takes, you know, this. The foundation takes this. The eyebrows take that. And I sit there and I'm like, I wake up then at 7 and I'm ready to take our kids to school. And I still, she's still in the front of the mirror. And I'm like, my God, you've been on there like two hours. And this is every day? Every day. Now, as her baby daddy, don't you just want to be like, hey, just wake up at 7.30. And then rush to work looking the way you do coming out of bed. Huggard. Yeah. Huggard. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel bad more, not for her, but for many women who have to do this because you have to wake up now a lot earlier just to doll yourself up. And if you don't doll yourself up, you go to work and everybody judges you. So mm. that's another issue, right, Sam? Right. That's, a, that's actually one, you know, one of the, the arguments that come up when you look up this hashtag on Twitter is, you know, women are uh, required to look good and now you want to tax us on the products that we use to you know make ourselves look put together um but that that's true yeah um i guess you do like people will be like wait but parang medyo haggard ka ngayon right or, or, or you look tired or you know that kind of thing it kind of sucks six three one three eight nine nine why don't we talk about this what's your daily makeup routine how long does it take for you now, I'm you know clearly I'm exaggerating a little bit in a sense that she wakes up at five. She still has breakfast. It's not like she's five o'clock and then boom in front of the mirror. You and know? she has she, but, she's a mom, so I'm sure you know she has to take care of the kids. Oh no, all the kids are everyone's asleep. She's oh. up well <laughs> before everybody else is. I wake the kids up. No, we're we're still sleeping. Um, but again, you know, it's the the time you have to invest in putting makeup on, and this being a daily routine. I want to ask our female callers and maybe some of our male callers to do the same. How much time does it take for you to get ready in the morning? Okay. How much more early do you have to wake up compared to everybody else? Good morning. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. 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 This Hi. is Matilda. Hey, hey Matilda. Mat- oh, I love your name. Yeah. yeah. Regarding okay. the makeup thing, mm-hmm. I'm a go girl person, so I woke up at seven. I can leave the house by five thirty or six. Yeah. Yeah. I don't wear too much makeup. I just put lipstick and then that's it. Wow. Yeah. Because I I get bored when I make up for a long time. Yeah. You get now doing yeah, the I, makeup. I, actually doing the makeup board. Yeah, oh. it's a waste of time. Yeah. Okay. Now do you are you really pretty or are you kinda average looking or what what's the deal here? They they found me, yeah. Kinda pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you have a low voice. Oh, the oh, unicorn! I have a mom of. Uh, I, I I'm a mom of two. So two is it is it when you became a mom you're like you know what no, I don't need to no. impress anybody anymore no. I'm just gonna go to work like this Since or it's, it's always began. been. This. I'm just like that. Since, Since the world began. <laughs> you mean yeah. 2017 years ago? Oh my god. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, good for you. Yeah. For you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank All you. Right. Thanks Thank for the call. You. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. You have to be a certain kind of confident to pull that off, right? Just lipstick and whatever. Sure, sure. Or just or you all know, kinds of ugly. Or you know, like, man. like there's nothing you can do about it. You might as well just, you know. Or, or you like know, this. just some girls are just not into it. Like they don't really care, which is That's fine. That's true. Yeah, but they're so rare to find a girl who not be cared about being judged on her looks. You have to either accept that you're a 
wildebeest ugly or B, so confident that, you know what, my life is great, screw you. You have to be in the extremes. I'm not sure about that. I don't sure know. I wouldn't that. say yeah. so. I, lines are full, though. I'd really love to talk to these women and, and figure out where everyone is in the beauty room. Okay, well, the beast, let's go. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hi. Ooh, it's a dude. Oh. Yeah, um, I actually know the girl who called earlier, Matilda. You do? Uh -huh. Is she your wife? Yeah, she looks like, uh, I'm not sure if you remember, but she looks like Heidi Yora. Hold on. Who's that? Joke time by on. I think so. Heidi Ora. Let's look at uh, who Heidi Ora is. Oren? Who is it? Uh, Heidi, Heidi, Heidi Ora? No. I don't, uh, I don't know. Do you guys even have the right name? Well, if you didn't hang up on us, I could have asked. A joke time by on. Okay, next so. call. Yeah, okay, next. Morning. Hi. Morning. Hi. Hi, radio off, please. Is that Another candy? low voice. Hi. Hi. Candy. Hi, who's this? Hi. It's Candy. candy. Hey. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy candy. New Year, Candy. Yes, it takes me maybe 25 to 30 minutes. And I've seen you because you've, you've visited us um, yes. over the holidays. Is that your, is that your, your normal, like, everyday face? Mm, that's just a little glitter. So it's like 35 minutes. You could so you have... sit there, then your staff kind of works on your face for 35 minutes. No, you take a short nap. I, I, <laughs> no, I, 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 I just have to have... My cream's already done, like, and have my coffee. But the makeup itself just really takes 20 minutes. And you have a pretty full face of makeup. I mean, you, you yes. do everything. I, I, you know, I, I shadow and, you know, the yes. lipstick. And the... I, I start with a BB cream, foundation. Right. Everything. That's pretty yes. fast. Yes. I think my mm -hmm. kids eat longer than I put my makeup on. You eat longer. They, they eat longer than I put my makeup on. Okay. My kids eat. All right, good. Oh, My kids eat. And, take longer to and eat. I, I think that's a good time. Thir if you can do 30 minutes, you're, you're in good shape. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. Candy. Bye, Candy. Bye. 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 You said Heidi Yorak, by the way. Oh. And she's a politician. Oh, okay. Um, oh. That's and not, yes, it was mentioned at Joel. That's not going to mm. be good. <laughs> I'm not amused. <laughs> I got to see. What? I just I, I, I like when you say I like Sam's so just like I am not amused. <laughs> Next caller, just, please. Next uh, caller. Hi, good morning. good morning. I say good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi. Hi. Who's this? This is Charot. <laughs> Hi, Charot. Ito ba si Loyal Charot? Yes. Oh, on Twitter. Oh, what's up? <laughs> no, remember what's last week Charot? she called and she's like, Master "I'm me. in a uh, yeah." Wait, hold on. Don't say anything. How did the story go, Nico? Um. She is, she's, she's in a relationship with a guy. Uh, the guy didn't have sex with her, something like that. So she was upset because they got into a fight. And then I said, oh, is he, why don't you find, why don't you have sex with someone else? And she's like, no, no I'm I loyal. Can't. I'm loyal. Shout out. Shout out. Ah. And, then, and then five minutes later, we find out she's also married, yeah. cheating on her husband. Oh. Okay, got it, got it. This is loyal, Charot. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Hi, loyal, Charot. Yeah, welcome to the show again. Yeah, thanks. I do my makeup like 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes while driving. While driving? Yeah. That, uh, is that when you're seeing your husband or your boyfriend? Yeah. Neither. Boyfriend, 45. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's out of the question. But I do my makeup 20 to 30 minutes while driving. And then I do the finishing at the parking. Wow. Nice. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. that's another how long? At about, about 10 minutes. Does your husband know you're cheating on him? <laughs> <laughs> Next question, please, Mo. No, no, no does he? Does he not? You've already admitted it on air. We just want to know now: does he know it or not? No, of course not. Mm. Okay. All right. Why? Eddie Helie. Eddie, Eddie Helie, katalaga. Happy New Year. Labo. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, kami oh. malabo. How old are you, Charot? Yeah. Yeah. How old are you? <clears throat> she forty. Quarenta. Yeah. Did you say quarenta? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Old school, still, still getting still, still, it. Yeah. Still Look getting it. Look at you, LC. She has no idea. Ooh. 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 Mm. 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 <laughs> I, I think I have an idea. <laughs> All right, get off our show. Thanks Thank for the call, you. my dear. We'll Thanks. see you next time. Good morning. Bye. 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 We'll, we'll see you on our next adultery topic. <sighs> yeah. 
I think a couple of people now have an idea. Si ano yun? Heidi Yorak yata. Si Heidi yun. Uh, one last call. Let's get out of here. The topic is how much time do you, you know, a lot for getting your makeup all done in the morning? Good morning. Hi, good morning. Hi. This is Arlene. Hi, guys. Hi, Arlene. Arlene, hey. hi. I take um, from zero minutes, that means no makeup at all, to 30 minutes. So a full I've... face for you is 30 minutes. Yeah. Because yeah. sometimes I go to work without any makeup, and that's totally fine with me. Mm. All right. Huh. Okay. So I guess third what do you do for a living? I feel like maybe it, it it also depends on the job that you do. Like if you're a call center agent, fine. Maybe you don't need to anymore unless you're trying to impress, you know, all the young studs there. But then if you're in, you know, say you're, I don't know, corporate, you're CEO or whatever, you want to feel so, powerful, yeah, I'm look in powerful. The world. I'm an accountant, and so I'm you're what? Is. You're a what? I'm an accountant. Accountant. Okay. accountant. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank yeah. you very Thanks much for calling, for dear. Calling. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. You, you, you get my point, Sam? Like, yes. If you're a big-time position and you're a female, you're, again, you're not trying to impress anyone with looks probably, but you're trying to also look powerful too, though. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I totally get that. And I think maybe if your job involves meeting a lot of people, then maybe you know, you'd want to kind of look more put together. Um, so, yes, there are, I think, I think are a lot of yeah, things that affect I wonder how much the tax is going to be. 10 to 30% Ooh. is the proposed rate. Yeah. And the beauty industry is a 200 billion peso industry in the country. Is it? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. In our country alone? Yeah. How much of that is a whitening soap? Yon, yon. Actually, that is, that is mentioned in the article. The mga whitening products and stuff. You so, know, you, services so this are tax, eating na naman tayo. So, si Candy has a derma is going to earn more. Gonna That's charge right, more she's at a least. dermatologist. Yeah, she's going to yeah. charge more at least. Yeah. Uh, what if you tattoo the makeup on your face, then you don't get taxed because it's there all the time? Isn't that a service too, though? You get a, you get that done by yeah, a dermatologist, one, though, not by a one tattoo time, artist. Time. Yeah, one time, big time. Then uh, you never have to do it again. It is known to fade, though. So, But, you know, instead of putting it on every day. You can okay for You can okay fade. Just in case you're thinking about getting it done. Yung gluta mo na kapita. Gluta medyo di pa gumagana sa akin. That's right. Can I just tattoo a whiter skin on me, please? Uh, let's take a break. When we come back, we have more of the show. Don't go away. From halfway across the globe, it's Mo Twister. In Manila, it's Samuel and Nico Ramos. Good times. It's our number two of our program at 7 a.m. here. Thanks for joining us. My name is Mo, that is Sam, and that is Nico Ramos, and they got something for you. Okay, so yesterday I went to my first yoga class for the year. Oh, hey, congratulations. I, thank you. I am going to go attend a spinning class later. I don't know what's come over me, but, you know, I think a lot of people are doing that. It's the start of the new year. People are trying to get back into the to the fitness thing. and um, A lot of people's resolutions is getting back in shape, yeah. being more active, getting more exercise in this year. That's right. And uh, perfect time because 7-Eleven Run is coming back this 2017. We've been talking about this since late last year. That's right. It is the run with all of the freebies. And yes, it is on Skyway. That's right. So I'm done freebies, guys. Um, and it's all 7-Eleven products galore. And this is happening at the Film Invest City Alabang and Skyway, as Nico said. And the best part is there are eight different distance categories to choose from. You're right. Um, there's the 3K, the 5K, the 10K, the 16K. The 21K and a full 42K. They also have a 10K buddy run and a 500 meter run for kids. So watch out for it this uh, February 5th, 2017. That's a Sunday. Uh, and please don't forget to register. Registration start started last November 9 and it's happening all the way until January 18. All you have to do is visit their website, run711.com, and register online. And then you can pay, get your race kits at any 7-Eleven store near you. It's very convenient and simple. That's right. So, again, for those of you who are interested to join 7-Eleven Run 2017, again, January, uh, February 5th, Sunday. That's at the Phil Invest City, El Labang, and the Skyway. Just visit run711.com. That's run711.com to register. Tabang-tabang for your uh, family bonding and New Year's resolutions this 2017.
Do it. There you go. Thanks, Sam. Thank you, Nico. Phone number 631-899. Okay, so you guys know I love my kids, right? No. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> Do so they funny. Love you, though. I, I was just I was just having a conversation with Chopper seconds ago, and I was saying, okay, so you know, I I do the show while watching my daughter at the same time. You guys don't know this, but uh, you listeners don't know this, but Sam and Nico know this. I always have to leave the room and check on her and all of that stuff, mm -hmm. though I could see her from where I'm at. Um, and and Chopper was like, hey, you know, we should just get a babysitter. I'm like, oh, never. Like, I I can't fathom like my kids being away from me for an hour two hours at any given day like it, it's very difficult on me it's already i have a hard time dropping off my son at school I miss you <laughs> <laughs> you know it's it's hard it's very nice that you're so hands-on with your kids you know it's, but it's nice at this age your kids are going to start to resent you if you don't yes start to adjust that's my point i'm i'm worried already that at some point i know they're not going to like me anymore not dislike me genuinely dislike, but they're going to dislike hanging out with me. Right. They're, they're going to get annoyed by you, yeah. Yes, yeah, so gonna, yeah, it's going to be all of that. And I have not reached that, and it's going to be a while before I get there, but I'm already worried about it. <laughs> Amsterdam is two. Lucas is, what, seven? Yes. It's not going to happen. he's already kind of for... like not one. No, no, no. Is Lu really? Lucas is a couple of years away. <gasps> I know. Does it happen That's that why right? I got I to have ten more kids, just so I can always have that feeling that I have now until I'm very, very old. What I want to ask our listeners, though, for those who have been through it, meaning you have a 15-year-old, you have a 14-year-old or 16-year-old, and they don't like hanging out with you anymore, do you still love them? Like, how do you... Because do you... <laughs> I feel like that's what I have to do. I'm going to have to dislike them back. Oh, you're not capable. So my heart doesn't break. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Six three one zero eight nine nine. Parents, help me. I, this is a parental advice I need from you guys now. You have kids who are at that age that don't want to hang out with you anymore. How do you go through that? I was gonna say you should get a hobby, but you already have like thirty eight oh, hobbies. Oh my god, I have so many hobbies already. Yeah. So I don't know how that's gonna help you. Hmm. How old were you when you started not to want to hang out with your kids? I mean, with your parents. Sorry. Oof. I think I was maybe twelve. Seven. Eight? Oh. 12, 11, yeah, when I started to, because I graduate, you graduate grade school at 12, so I'm going to get in. Uh, so right after your pee-pee was cut-cut, you uh, <laughs> decided that you don't love your dad anymore because he made you have part of your penis removed. Yeah, and you know, when when you start, you know, going outside and hanging out with friends, I, I remember at the time all I wanted to do was ride my bike and play basketball at the court outside. So any anything other than that was a drag. So like if it was a weekend and you know my dad or my parents would try to do something nice, like all right, we're all going to the mall, kids. You know, I have three other siblings, and my siblings would be like, yeah, and I'd be like, no, I don't want to go. Yeah. Twelve, yeah. you said. Did yeah. it coincide though with when one eighth of your penis had to be removed? I had that. I had that when I was born. I was I was born. Oh, out there. you know, you know they like do the they, lucky ones. they do it right away. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, good, good man. All right, here we go. Six three one three eight nine nine. Lines are full. Good morning. Hi. Oh, hi, good morning. Hey, what's up? Hi, can hi. you, can you take off us your... off speakerphone, turn off your radio, speak louder, what's yeah, your done, name, done, all done, that good done, stuff. Done. Thank you. Thanks, who's this? Wow. Okay, hi, hi. I'm Randy. Randy. Huh? What? Yeah. Randy, okay. okay. What's up? Rodney, Anna? Randy, nga. <laughs> yeah, Randy. What's up? Yeah. Okay, so I have this 16-year-old son. 16-year-old? <laughs> yeah. Oof. And... and? You know, uh, things started to to be like that. Uh, first thing yeah. he did, he blocked uh, my wife and me on Facebook. What? Because you know, when 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 he gets home and and it's always the the mom, uh, she saw some posts that are you know, parang ano tayo sa mga medyo inappropriate at at his age. Then of course the mom will <laughs> will scold her uh, him for that and then. Yeah, that's what he did. He Do you miss your Facebook. child? Oh yes, yes, yes. Of course, of course. We we miss the things that uh, we usually do when we when we hang out uh, at home, when we do you know you know uh, jokes and uh, everything. Now but you're now just so now kinda, you're just super badui, right to him. Yeah, the, yeah. It, yeah. It, uh, it's like there's a distance now between him and us. 
So what is your advice to Mo here? Well, I think there's nothing you can do about it. Even though we 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 gave him all the love that we can, uh, you know, from. Because uh, it should be Sorry, ah. wait, wait. Ah, uh, unleaded full. You don't say. You don't say. I like say. a guy who I like a guy who puts full tank. Eh? You know, what I mean, it's there's a power move there. Okay, so, yeah, I think yeah. it's 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 a kind of nature that uh you know kids uh, at a cert, at a certain time um uh, get their distance away from their you know mom and dad, but you know as long as the love is there. Uh, I think it, it will be, it will all be uh, good at the end of the day. Because when you are young, you realize that I did that uh, at that stage, mm. but uh, it's wrong. But you know that's that's what they do. There's nothing you okay. can do about it. Yep. Thanks for the call, Thank man. Appreciate you. it. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye. Ido jo Twitter nagyabang lang kung wala sa Belgian three hundred lang papagas niya. Full tank. Power move, man. Uh, <laughs> 6310899. Uh, do you agree with that guy that there's nothing you can do about it? Your kids are going to hate you at some point. They're going to distance themselves from you at some point. No matter how much you love them or you enjoyed hanging out with them, it's inevitable. They're gone. The other day, I mean, I'm 39. The other day, yesterday, my mom, lines are full, we'll get together. It's like, my mom came up to me and says, Mo, I go, Mahal, anak, I love you. I'm like, oh, she's so sweet. I saw your Instagram. Yung tungkol kay Mocha. <laughs> yes. And? Don't do that. Be. And I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> Hung up on my mom. Oh, she's so sweet. Sweetheart. And I know I'm going to do that too. I'm going to be like, Amsterdam, I saw your, I saw your post on Instagram. Yung your wet t-shirt contest Mocha. post. Oh. <laughs> Yung tungkol sa anak ni Mocha. Si espresso. <laughs> <laughs> Just let her be. Um, come let's on, go. Away. Come on, away. Yeah. Morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hi. Hi. This is John. Uh, hey, John. I uh, I started distancing from my parents when I was in uh, 15 years old. Okay. Yep. I don't know. I love them, but uh, I just have my own thing. Yeah. And now I have my. <laughs> Now I have my I have two children and I don't want that to happen because uh, I enjoy uh, spending time with my kids. Yeah, no, I, that's you are in my I am in your shoes. You're in my we're we're, we're the same. Now. How old are your kids? Uh my eldest is three and my daughter is uh, two. Okay, we're so we're really you're basically the same here. person. The two of you. Yeah, tomorrow I understand what you're coming from. <laughs> and I'm afraid of that happening to me also. I think all I need to do is like catch one of them smoking and then I'll hate them already. Like forever. You know? <laughs> like I just need to catch one of them at twelve with a cigarette or a lighter in his backpack and I'm like, okay, now I officially hate you forever. Thanks for the time. Yeah. You know, you're just now gonna be my son or my daughter in the house, but that's it. All right. You know Thanks, what? man. Uh, no problem. Yeah, go. No, no, go, go. Uh, <laughs> what's embarrassing for me is if in my mind. Maybe one day I'll cut my son jacking off. <laughs> that will be total embarrassing for me. Yeah, yeah, no, sure. that would be. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank I would you. check, like, I mean, if he did better than I am in size. I'm like, oh, oh he, he did better than me. But, um... Boy, we have taken a turn on radio since the president what? has been here <laughs> regarding how much profanity... Like, this is the second profane thing we've had, and we're only an hour in. Did he say a bad word earlier? Did I miss something? Oh, yeah. He said Jack called. And uh, oh. he said it in the slang term. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. Okay. You didn't get it? Nope. And okay. the thing is, our topics have been as clean as a whistle. Oh, my God. Right? They're so positive. What do we have? We had rosary and sleep. We had all these other do, things. Do, first topic, do you sleepwalk? Second topic, make up. <laughs> topic now, I love my kids. And the people I hear are, SHI, yeah. this, I hear FUC, this. It's like, boy, you guys. You know, it was kind of how, was it Meryl Streep the other day at the Golden Globe Awards where she was referencing Trump oh. and how, I don't know the exact word for word what she said, but the message was so good. But, you know, I, I kind of related it to our president in the fact that if you 
showcase something, it and even though it's wrong, it almost gives people permission to behave the way you do. Yeah. Right. She I says, think she she said the word permission, and I was like, wow, that that really hit me because. You know, if you're going to kill people and you're going to glorify it and all that stuff, you now give the permission to others to do the same when they feel they've been wronged. Mm -hmm. And that's really bad. It was, it so now was... look, at our, look at our show. Look at our show, right? <laughs> President curses like crazy on air. Look at you morons on the air. Cursing like crazy. But continue to because we like it. I hope the president always turns his radio off when he calls a radio show <laughs> or else we are doomed. <laughs> We can, I wonder if we ever get him on the show, how many bad words he's going to say. Because we're going to bait him into it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I, like, I, oh. I think at this point, like, he can't stop himself. I mean, I cannot, I cannot catch him on TV without him you know, being bleeped at some point. Yeah, and he can't. No, they don't even bleep it. And number two, he has to do the, the, the hand gestures with it as well. Like, say this last guy who, call, who, just, who was on air, he said the Jack called uh, you know, bad word. Mm -hmm. The president would say that and then do the hand movement. The, <laughs> you know, like, that's the kind of guy he is. It's crazy, right? All right, anyway, back to our topic. What are we at? Oh, yeah, kids, they hate you. Good morning. Hi. Hey, uh, good morning. Hi, who's this? Hey, uh, this is Ronaldo. 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 Yeah, I have a, I have an 18 year old kid. Uh, it's my son. Uh, son. Mm -hmm. Uh, ano ba? Ano ako? I mean, okay kami in terms of everything. I na nakakasama ko parin siya. Uh, kung maganda ghanap lang ako ng hobby na parehong magkakasundo kami, mm -hmm. which is motorcycle. And then, uh, oh. I also tried. <laughs> Continue. And I also tried and I also tried studying, ano, yung mga, yung mga nauuso rin sa kanila, you know. Like? Like, um, Dota, you know, those things. So, hindi naman siya naiinis na parang, Dad, ano ba, like, you know, I, I want this to do no, this with my friends. Not feeling friends. ko hindi naman kasi, uh, every weekend, uh, every weekend, nag-ride kami, magkasama kami, uh, with his friends, uh, with, you know, other people from the group. Mm -hmm. Okay naman. Tapos, uh, at home, okay naman kami. I mean, he, kumbaga, ino-open niya sa akin lahat. Everything. Talaga? Kasi sa akin, okay lang sa akin na uminom ka. Okay lang sa akin na, uh, actually, I was the one who introduced him to all those things. Or I introduced him all those things. You know, I, I, mean, I, I... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, including yung mga, ano, yung mga, uh, let's say, pambabae, like that. You know, I, I was the one who, you know, first brought him to a place na yon may happy ending like like that. So oh. yeah, that of the year. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, hmm. mm, awesome. So yeah, that's what I did. Para okay paring kami. I mean, okay kami ngayon. Wala wala kami problema. Still, we're very close and you know, always together. Well, then there you go. Excellent. Mm. Thank, Thank you, sir. Did you may offer kung advice kay mo maybe? Did you? But did you say that you took your son to a prostitute? Is that what I heard? Or I was kind of yeah. I did yeah? that yeah? when yeah? he wow. was uh, sixteen years old. Okay. Ah. And you're yeah. telling me to do that with my kids? Mm, mm, well, it's up to you actually. Kung paano mo siya mm. approach? Ikaw, up to you mo. Do you want your kids to hate you or to love you? Yun lang naman yun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yun. <laughs> No, actually, depende sa yan. Ang sa akin lang, kumbaga, I, I, I make them, you know, uh, or I make him na para maramdaman niya lang na, ano, na, oh, kumbaga, ako na mismo yung mag introduce sa kanya sa mga bagay-bagay. Same And, with drugs, know, after, alcohol, smoking? No, no drugs. Definitely no drugs. Yung, yun lang, alcohol or yung smoking, hindi ko rin ini-introduce yun. Pero yun nga, at least. Kumbaga, Just prostitution kung, and drinking. Kung sakali man na lalabas siya or gusto niyang lumabas, pwedeng sa bahay na lang. I'm very open yeah. to that. Okay. There you are. Mm, so, wow. yun. Kumbaga, para lang and, mas and, and did, open. And did your wife, did your wife know about all this uh, stuff that like you did? Like the whole, Single the, you know, paying okay. for sex stuff? Single yeah, the, the prostitution, no. Pero yung mga drinking, uh, okay lang yun. Kumbaga, uh, approved naman sa kanya yan. Basta as long as, yun nga, uh, hindi lang yung masyadong matagal or hindi lang din yung masyadong lating na, yung as in naglalating na, yung wala nang ginawa. Right. Last so, question, sa, La last question. You, you know, because I'm so against the prostitution thing. It's, it really it really does kind of, uh, it's one of those buttons that that, that I don't like. Uh, don't you, isn't a, is it a bad lesson to teach him now that he can just pay for sex when he wants to? 
Now, um, just... I don't know. Uh, yung sa akin kasi, inintroduce ko lang sa kanya yon so that, you know, uh, after naman nun, kumbaga, sinabi ko rin sa kanya na uh, ganito lang yan, walang ano yan, pero wag, wag mo rin gagawin yan sa mga, you know, sa mga babaeng talagang biligawan mo or, you know, and always... What do you mean, ask for a happy ending? Or that you're supposed to, right? With what's your recording... I, you, but you get my point, Sam, uh, Nico, no, about I totally the whole. Do. It, it, yeah. Doesn't it go back to what we were saying earlier? You give them now permission you, to, by teaching them it's okay because your dad took you to your first prostitute at 16. Now all of a sudden, what you think is wrong, all of a sudden becomes right because I, your hero took you. I, 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 I get where our caller is coming from. You know, he obviously just wants to, you know. He, the introduction he, lang talaga. Kung baga walang ano. Uh, para lang alam niya. Pero yung. What are, wait, wait, what are you introducing him to? The, okay, what are you introducing him to? Are you introducing him to sex or are you introducing him to happy ending massages? Like, what was uh, your... When you say you're introducing, I want to know what you're trying to get to. Maybe the feel of it and then the uh, the experience of it. Pero yun nga, yung, yung learning... Oh, then he should have done para, it on his own. Para maging open lang siya sa akin na pagka gusto niyang gawin yun, yung mga sasabihin niya sa akin. And gotcha. uh, so far, he's doing great naman. I mean... Uh, actually, he's a scholar now. So, good, good. good. Yun lang. Uh, Kung baga, lahat naman ng bagay still. Pagka sinabi niya meron siya nagugusta ang girl, sinasabi niya sa akin, you know, uh, he brings the girl to the house, in- inintroduce niya sa akin uh, last month. So, yeah. Alrighty. Alright. Mm-hmm. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Omo, di ba? Scholar si Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> if... If you want, if you want your your son to love you forever, I think that the steps have been laid out for you. No, but jokes but aside, teach him how to drink, get. prostitution, aside, and yeah, ride motorcycles yeah, yeah. after. I mean, hey, I, hey, like humility. Let's put jokes aside. Yeah, Sam, yes, go. I, I mean, I get the whole. You know, I don't. I want him to be able to feel like he can come to me and talk to me about anything. I get that. I think that's what all parents want to happen, but. Is the is the happy ending place necessary to do that? That's what I'm so against because I mean, all okay. Listen, all our kids are gonna have premarital sex. Like we're already at that point, right? So mm-hmm. I know that you're gonna have it. I would rather introduce you to this topic by pulling out a condom and going, okay, this is what you gotta put on. Right. Yeah. Don't be like your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, know, you gotta put one of these things. Like that's the lesson. I, I think. I think instead of taking him to a place where then all of a sudden as we said earlier you give them permission to behave a certain way i think and I, sorry prostitution is really bad yes nico i think it stems from you know the spirit of you know how a lot of dads give their children their first drink mm-hmm. you know what i mean like especially sons you know what i mean okay like you know this is what you're gonna drink it's like an initiation thing yeah it's like a macho yeah initiation you're eventually thing. gonna and it's a father-son kind of bonding thing all right you're of age now hopefully um so this is what like a beer tastes like you're gonna go out with your friends i want you to not you know i want you to be able to handle it so and so the only dads who do that are dads who have alcohol present in their lives you know who drink often and i think the dads who take their sons to places like that are are men who feel like those are just n- a normal part of their lives. Like That's just what's common to them. And they feel yeah, like but, it's going to be that, common to I, everybody. That's why I almost feel also like if I was the kid and you took me to a prostitute for my first sexual experience, I would be like, oh, okay, do you do this to mom when I'm not oh, around? Exactly. Like, it, like well, how do you know these places? Why are you going to these places? Like all of a sudden I am either wondering, do you do this to us? Or B... I'm gonna think it's okay to do this. Down yeah, the line. No, no, I think it's wife. both. Yeah, this I think it's both. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really bad. So, aside from of course the fact that, just it's bad anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, just yeah. Saying. All right. Okay. Well, that's our uh, homily for the morning. <laughs> and <laughs> how did we end up here? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, well, if you open a, you love your kids so much. What do you do? <laughs> Well, you're eventually going to end up here <laughs> in prostitution. <laughs> but of course, that's who we are. It's our it's 721. Our fault. Yeah, it's 721. We'll take a break when we come back. More of the show. From halfway across the globe, it's Mo Twister. In Manila, it's Sam and Nico Ramos. Good are the winners time. of the BMW 318D and the BMW Motorrad P, uh, 
F700GS uh, that was raffled off yesterday. So it still could possibly be used. EE Flyers for details, promo valid at participating shell stations until January 31st, 2017 per DTI FTEB SPD permit number 16623 series of 2016. Coolio, thank you. Thanks, Nico. All right, let's get to more conversation. Your, uh, what, what do you guys want to talk about here? Anything good? Uh, I don't know. How about this? Uh, okay. You know, we brought up her. We brought her up a little earlier, and we we didn't really have we didn't really talk too much about this because it happened late last week that, uh, you know, Mocha was. Uh, what appointed or chosen to be a board member at on the uh, MTRCB? This is not going to be a political topic, by the way, so yeah. don't worry. Um, and then I was kind of surprised, and again, I don't know if I have all of the info here that she now wants to kind of eradicate softcore porn from television and all of that stuff. Uh, and that made me go, "Huh, you, you," because. As recent as I think right before the president announced that he wanted to be president, Mocha was a soft core porn star. Was, was she really? Be, was she really? And I'm genuinely, say. I'm genuinely curious because I'm not very I, familiar with you know how, her career path. I'm mumbling because I'm not 100 percent sure, <laughs> but I remember going on her blog, the one now that says that she's not. A journalist, I think, is you know, the title of that one. And I remember she was giving tutorials on how to perform oral, how to – she – just a couple of years ago, she dressed up as a nun and stripped it off in a kind of like a very controversial thing because she was posing with, like, naked dudes. And it was kind of controversial because she was, like, a naked nun with naked men and – um, I remember having her on this show many times, taking her clothes off on the radio, though it's the radio, so you can't really see it, but I was very descriptive on <laughs> what I was looking at. Uh, she was on the podcast. She got naked there. Many times I've seen her in videos uh, simulating sex with women, men, everything. Well, more women, really, than anything. Um, yeah, so I would say softcore porn star, absolutely. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And now and she now, wants to get rid of all the soft porn ish yeah. things on TV. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, after after the, she's made money off of it, yeah. I think she's Aww. now wants no one else to make money off of it. So I want to ask you guys at 6310899, have you ever done a 180 degree turn on something you feel strongly about? Because, you know, she tried making, I think, a political stand before with this whole. Dressing up as a nun, stripping off the clothing with naked dudes. I think that was a. They, they were some. That was a freedom of speech thing. Yeah, there was some like political reason for all of that, but there was a lot of softcore porn stuff though that she was doing on her site. <clears throat> yeah, so, the tutorials were pretty graphic. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. really graphic, Sam. Yeah. Super graphic. And just the stuff that she said was always super graphic. Everything from. Front to back to all the way in the back well, <laughs> to all all those positions and all like she was a pro man and she change. was really good. Okay. People yeah, change. yeah, th that's right. People do change and that's okay. So that's why I, I don't want to bash her here, but I want to ask you guys: Did you make a mocha-like turn in how you felt about something? Because she was really adamant about getting the message out that it's okay to be this H O R N Y and. It was okay to be this <laughs> S-L-U-T-T-1. <laughs> it was okay to be this H-O. You know, it was okay. Say and it, you should embrace it. Would. You should embrace it. Okay. Now it's like, you know, no way. All right, all right. All right. So 631-899, you did a major turn about something you felt strongly about. Hello. And I don't know what it is. Good morning. Hi, good morning, guys. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. Uh, 360 degrees turn, right? No, it's only 180. Because it's 360, <laughs> then you still, you, still, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you still feel the same. Yeah, way. yeah, correct. Right. Yeah, 180. Yeah. Mm. Uh, before, Fair enough. Uh, super, ano, parang super loyal and all. Uh, no hookups, no flings. But then I met this girl. Na, and yeah, the hell, yeah. <laughs> Sobrang ano, ewan ko, sobrang, ewan ko, parang nabadyo talaga ako, up until now. And she's a dead ringer ni ano, 
ni Catherine. Bernardo. Yes, yes. So you 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 were the guy that preached loyalty to the wife, uh, vows have to be kept, all that stuff, until you met this, ca- ca- you know, yes. Catherine Bernardo lookalike, and now you're cheating on your wife like a monster. Yes, super. Aww. One and a half months. And you're you're cheating on your wife with this girl. Yes. And oh, okay. then before, well, I think it's a Parang, as in na, no? Parang, ano lang, bahay, work, ganyan lang. And then, super, ano, full attention, time, and all oh, sa, yeah. sa wife. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. parang, ano, so, no, parang medyo lamang pa kay si number two. And you have no plans yeah. of ending this, from what I hear. Well, she looks like yes. Captain Bernardo, Nico. I know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Does the girl know you're married? Sorry? Does the girl know you're married? Yes. Yes. Oh my. Wow. Oh Do you work my. with her? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Ngayon ka pabumulong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, how how many years were you married and like a good husband before you met this girl and started to behave this way? Uh, around seven years. Ooh. Okay. All right. You got kids? One. One? All right. And then, okay. I don't know. Parang, nung birthday nung kid namin, parang I invited her. siya pumunta. You invited her to your <laughs> wow, kid's birthday you party? Yeah. Parang hindi siya pumunta. How, oh my <laughs> how close are you to leaving your family for this girl? Uh, a couple, couple months away? Like six months away? I, 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 you know, to, yes, to, maybe? To be frank, ano, parang... Uh, parang, I don't know about... Uh, to be honest, parang... I, parang, I cannot leave my my son. I want to to be with my son. I want to to see him always. And that. Pero, pero if I'm gonna choose between the legal and the number two, parang right now, parang uh, parang the number two. Well, yeah. I mean, oh, of course, it's, it's only new. been You're like a, yeah, a month yeah. and a half. Yeah. So, God, she looks oh, like God. Is she much younger? Yeah. Mm, uh, for I think. So, 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 okay, so why? Four, four years younger, Ata. The new? Yeah. No, uh, no. I think eight. Eight? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, All buddy. Right. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Enjoy. All right. Good times. Bye. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're, you're the one. Uh, Yeah. Again, how did we end up here? I know. Why do we always take this turn for... <laughs> Like, Listen, Sam, I don't know why you can't get it through your thick head, Sam. Why? That people want to admit that they're cheating on their spouses on a radio show, okay? <laughs> That's why we're here. Okay, Sam? <laughs> well, Nico was the one that brought it up. No, I'm being sarcastic, my dear. That I'm shocked that people, in fact, call our show to tell us that they're cheating on their spouses <laughs> as often as they do. Like what? It won't get to them? Like people won't recognize their voice? Yeah. Like people won't go, oh, oh, no, see, no, you Right? You guys are so yeah. bold. I love it, though. Continue to do it. I don't want to turn you off. It's just... I guess. Yeah, it, it's like... It's I'm weird. Amazed. Like, you know, yeah, they're doing this and they know that they're not supposed to, but then they want to announce on I national know. radio <laughs> that they're doing this. That's the show wow. we've become, is my point. Because you guys sit here and you go, how did we get here? We were talking about this. We were talking that's about how, that. All of us. That's how valuable our Eddie Helia is. That they yeah, will this is admit who we are their, now. their story just so that they go, Eddie Helia. Six three one zero eight nine nine. You took a hundred eighty correction. Three sixty turn about how you felt about something. Good morning. Hello. 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 Hi. Good morning. Hi. 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 Uh, it's forty four twenty four. Just have Hello? a name. <laughs> have a name. Yeah. 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 Dropbox. Dropbox. What's up? Yeah. I did it you several times already. Mo. Anyways, um, hmm? I strongly believe before in marriage. Uh-huh. Uh, meaning marriage, uh, lalo na yung nabuntis mo, tapos napakasalan mo. Yep. But now, I believe in, uh, you live in first before you get married. So you have okay. to know your wife first or your husband first. Are you, and you're married? Yep. Yeah, I'm married with uh, two kids and a stepson. We're going strong, 15 years already. Good for you. Did you guys live in yeah. together before getting married? Yeah, after a year, uh-huh. got married. There you go, then. The stepson, is that from a previous marriage or a relationship? Uh, that, that, yeah, that's why you previous, learned from this? Yeah, previous uh, relationship with my wife. Yeah. 
her boyfriend. So what made yep. you change your tune? Uh, well, um, I strongly believe that you have to love the person, person uh, first, you know, her first before getting married. You know what makes me change my tune about this is the how many relationships that you've got into and how awful that you realize people could become after a few years that yes. you then should take them on a test drive for a year or two. Like when you're excited and you're young, you think, oh, okay, I'm in this relationship. It's great. This has to be forever. And then you start realizing that they're, you know, the dynamic between two people can get really nasty in a X amount of years. You then start selling the idea to yourself, wait a minute, before I commit, long term to this person or before I commit too much, I got to find yeah. out first if they're going to go crazy on me or if we're going to hate each other after a year or two yeah. or three or four. Out, so. it, it turned out well, actually. Uh, it brings out the best in me. Yep. yep. Okay. okay. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Good Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. 631-0899. Next call. Morning. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, my name is Mel. Hi, Mel. Good morning, Mel. Yes, and I have sorry about my English and trying. I have oh, okay, lang, okay, lang. Yeah, it's it's I great, and you can speak in Tagalog if you want. Okay, um, I have problem with my husband. He's not going home, and then I have three kids. How did we get? Here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and before we uh, we married, and then he divorced. Uh, he's a foreigner, and then after that. Um, yeah, he just left. That's all. Um, huh. So how long has it been since he hasn't come home? I think uh, three months. <laughs> Wait, but you're divorced. So what, what's the... I'm, I'm not sure I understand the situation. Yes, it's a long story. We, we divorced, but we still together. Huh. Okay, so... Okay, so... Kinasal kayo, you got divorced. Nagkabalikan kayo. Yes, because of the kids, I got pregnant. Because yeah. you got pregnant Ooh. after yes. the divorce, after you guys yes. got back together. Yes. How long ago was that? Um. Sorry. Uh, kailan kailan ka nabuntis? A month after the divorce, a month, and then oh. he, does, he doesn't want to believe that he is he's the father, so it hurts for me. And then I decided yeah. that. To stay with him because of the kids, and now we have three because of the baby, and now we have three kids. And then are I, you getting I, any? Are you getting any money? Yes, uh, a little bit, but I think he has another. <clears throat> he has another girl, you know. It oh. hurt for me because I could see, I uh, I can see on his Facebook. Um, okay, this is so off topic, but you know what? I, I feel bad for you, my dear. I don't even remember what we were talking about anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, but listen, hang in there, my dear. How old, how old is the kid? The youngest? Seven, seven, I know, sorry. Five, three, and one year old. Wow, you are a soldier Ooh. of life. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's difficult for me. I'm yeah. trying to talk to some, somebody, you know. I just, I just, yeah. I'm listening all the day your registration and... It's nice, Alicia, you know? Yeah. Aww. Well, if we can help you forget about him for three hours a day, uh, that would be a huge victory sure. for us. I'm, I'm, I'm going to listen all day with your education, if I can. Yeah, you don't have to do that. Just at least us in the morning, for sure. Um, <laughs> no, listen, my dear, you just keep working hard at, at, at this this life. I mean, you got, I'm sure you got, their kids are great, and they're cute and all that stuff, so hang in there. Uh, and you know, I feel like I'm on the podcast. I know. You know at, at one at one mode. point, at one point, when they get older and they see all that you've done, and they will appreciate it so very much, they will pay you back times ten for all the hardship that you're having to go through right now. I promise you that. Just be a great mom, support them like hell, do whatever you can, and I think the fruits of all of that will happen a little bit later, no matter how bleak it looks now. Okay. Yeah, Thank you so much. Aww, All right, baby. Thanks. Call anytime. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Call anytime about any topic and just tell that story again. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I think we need to take a break. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. I need. We, I think we need to do a completely different topic because we started off with softcore porn here. Oh my gosh, that was what we were talking about. The yeah, 180 it... change of opinion on something. Mocha has brought yes. us here. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Now I remember. Thanks, Mocha. Appreciate okay. it.
Uh, I used to hate the Lakers. Like, passionately hate the Lakers. Like, I can't dislike a team more than I dislike the Lakers. Sorry, Nico, I know you're a big fan. And then they got Pau Gasol, who's my favorite player of all time. And then I had to do 180. Mm. It was more like a 90. Actually, I think I dislike them a little bit, but not as much. I was going to say my example to that would have been the Boston Celtics because growing up as a Lakers fan, I'm supposed to really dislike the Celtics. Good times. Indeed. It is hour number three of our program here on this Wednesday. Nico, the big story in the NBA. Sam, sorry, we're going to do a little NBA here for just a few minutes and then we'll get out of there. What's going on? Uh, Derek Rose, Doug Awol, in yesterday's game. (laughs) Yeah, he disappeared, man. I mean... So the Awol. No, but like the New York like, the New York Knicks were playing the New Orleans Pelicans. Um and details I don't really care about, but fine, okay. And Derrick Rose was not with a team. He was not there. And it wasn't a road game, so they were in New York, so he should have been there, even though let's say for example he was injured or something like that. Yeah. Um his coach before the game did not indicate that Derrick Rose was not gonna be playing after the game so did not show up at the game at all after the game. His coach Jeff Hornacek said, We do not know where he is. So he just didn't show up and yeah. then no one knew where he was? Yes. How I'll often does it happen in the NBA? Never. I don't remember <gasps> the last time it's ever happened. It's never, I don't know. Mo, Mo, Mo says never. He's followed the league longer than I have. I don't remember. Well, I mean, it, it it may have happened, but I don't ever. I've never heard of this happening before. It's certainly not in the caliber of player that uh, Derek, Derek Rose, Rose is. is. I mean, there there have been like late because of traffic and all of that stuff, but there's sure. no just completely disappeared. Uh, and then he, the Knicks were calling him on his cell phone. He said he didn't want to answer because he wanted some space. That now, was his answer. <laughs> oh yeah. my god! Shortly now, after the game, some of his friends said he's messaged us to say he's fine, but we still don't know what's right. going on. Just to say now, his press um, release is that his, he went to Chicago, which is of course a different city. It's like you know Cebu Davao, right? You completely different. And he said he was with his mom because there was like a mom issue, uh, which of course, if it's a family issue, you understand. And as any, I think any company would. I think most companies would be like, okay, you know, something's wrong with my mom, something's wrong with my yeah, kids. Yeah. Then you go. You don't, you don't think about it, you get out. But you have to say those words. If you don't, then nobody knows. And, and, and in the NBA, excuse. the NBA, you, you hear it all the time. So-and-so will not play to address personal issues. So-and-so is with right. family at this time to deal with something important. And no one ever says another word about it. Oh, okay, he's got a family thing. Now, now, Rose is a bit weird. He's always been a little weird. Um, weird, weird. I mean, by strong word, he's just a little just odd, eccentric, I guess. And sure. uh, he's a little upset, maybe, also that he's been sitting out uh, crucial moments in the game because he's just not a great defender anymore. I don't know if he ever was, but he came from the typical system, so he must have been at least fairly decent. Uh, the, so he's sitting down now in big times during the game, and I think that's upsetting him because it's a contract year, meaning he has to play well. He has to showcase that he can still play at a high level so he can get more money come the end of the year. This is not going to help his cause. Yeah. As, um, you know, the last the last game before the game where he went oh, well, was against the Milwaukee Bucks, and he did play. He got benched in the fourth quarter in favor of someone who wasn't even drafted. Yeah, he was a deadly guy. So, I mean, it, bad times. For, for Derek. Uh, also, you know, he's got that rape case that was, uh, you know, in the offseason. So there's a lot of stuff going on in his life. This is not really good for him. Oh but my. here's some positives. He didn't get suspended. He didn't get fired. He got fined. Undisclosed amount. So it could be anything from 500 pesos to 500,000 to 5 million. Who knows? Uh, but everything's okay. He's going to be back tomorrow. He was back at practice today. He was... Everything's fine. So maybe it might, might not be that big of a problem. Maybe he wasn't really a family. Because if it was a family issue, you take one or two days off. He was back at work first thing in the morning. So what we wanted to ask you guys at 631-899, you're Derek Rose. Nag awol karen. It's AWOL, by the way. We're just messing around. Nag awol karen. You didn't show up for work, and you didn't get in trouble for it. Like, you didn't get fired. Like, you came up with a really great excuse or you have a really cool boss but you just decided out of one day not to come to work and you didn't tell anybody about it and you live to tell the tale i mean in the yep. in the corporate scene I, I feel like this is much easier to get away with no you can always kind of like oh, I, don't I guess think so. i don't really i think here in this world in our radio world maybe 
Because I feel like you can, like you said earlier, like, you know, p- most people are understanding when it comes to family issues. I mean, can't you always say, like, I had an emergency with my family and, you know, yeah, I couldn't yeah, but he get didn't in do touch. That. Who didn't do like, that? Like, I think when you go, Derek didn't do that. He just didn't show up, period. He didn't right. say why. So are there people out there that do that where they just go? they absent. They don't even say why. You, you did not say it was a family issue. You know when we music oh, show so it sometimes? You mean like, so you, like, you mean you didn't do anything to like damage control the situation and you just got away with it? It seems yeah, to you, me like he just flew back in and said, sorry, I had to do something. Yeah? And, and they were like, yeah, yeah okay, Derek, you're going to have to pay us, I'm, I'm guessing, $10,000 for this. And he's like, sure, whatever. Huh. Six three one zero eight nine nine. Let's take some calls. Uh, you went a wall uh, at work, and you know what? You didn't get in trouble for it, which is really kind of odd. Because I think Sam, in the corporate world, and, and the equivalent of this, by the way, uh, missing a game, like missing practice, is one thing. Missing a game is like missing a big mm. presentation, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you had no excuse for you it. You can't get away with that. La Luna, no. you're a starter. You're what, the second, third option on that team? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, he's averaging 17 points a game. He's a major contributor to that team. Let's take a call. Good morning. Hello. Fe- I think I, I think nag-awold din ako dito on the show, maybe in the past a couple times. But With I would say something. No, 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 like before. But I would say something kind of like midway through the show. Ah. Uh, well, well, at, at least calls. you, you know. Ako, I don't think nag <laughs> Like I will on this show. No, but no, but you're right. Like you guys don't wait until like after nine to find out what happened to me. I mean, like six forty-five guys. Sorry, the only thing say. Do you terminate somebody though off one day of a walling or a walling? Let's let, again. Let's take some more calls though. Morning. Hi. 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 Hey. 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 Yeah. Oh. Uh, you were talking about uh, going a wall, right? Can you take us off a uh, speakerphone, please? Yeah, first time listener, can you can you t- take us off the the, the, the Bluetooth and, turn, and off turn off your radio, please? Not turn us off. Alright, turn off. Sige, off going for hello. <laughs> what's the policy? If you're maybe you're in HR, what's the policy regarding a wall for your company? I really is think it immediate termination. I don't know if it's immediate, but I really think that a wall is a very very grave offense. Really? In in the corporate okay. world. Okay, morning. Hello. But then, you know, Next callers, call. enlighten us. Hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Hi. Yes, hi. What's Go ahead. Up? What's your name? Um, Arnie. Hi, Arnie. Hi. How are you? I'm hey. good. Good. So, whenever you're ready, fire at will. Well, with regards to uh, the policy for a world, um, in the corporate world, especially in the BPO, um, we issue an agent or an employee a uh, notice to explain. So um, that employee would um, explain why she was on AWOL or absent for a long time, not uh, telling the supervisor the reason or why I was absent. Let's say, for example, I'm the employee. And then um, if in case or cases like we do not, uh, get in touch or we're not able to get in touch with the employee, we send the employee um, a mail, a letter, um, asking for an explanation and um, scheduling an admin hearing. Wow, so there's a lot of time before you just yes. get rid of them. Exactly. Uh, that's good. Because process. what if they got sick, there's yeah, a car process. accident, they can't, you know, they can't True. call you True. or whatever. Right. You... you just cannot terminate the employee just like that. So there's a process, a long process for that. So uh, we would check the file of the employee, the last known address, and all that. Send the letter. Um, wait for um, three three days, up to thirty days, just to um, wow, get an advice from the employee. Days. And then that's when you um, process the termination. If in case it's um, um, nothing, nothing from the employee, no no calls no appearance in, in, in the, the, the office itself. So there's really a process. You cannot just terminate an employee or else uh, that employee has the right to um, complain in the labor, Department of Labor. Sure. And this and is... that 
companies in trouble. And this is when they go AWOL for a lengthy period of time, right? Like they go yes, AWOL for right. a week. Let's say, for example, exactly. let's say, for example, I go AWOL one day. Mm -hmm. I'm absent Wednesday. I come back Thursday. What happens mm -hmm. to me? So that's where we issue the um, NTE. So that's the notice to explain. So that employee would um, um, state the, the reason. So um, in that case, if I'm the, or if you're the employee, you came back. So there's uh, probably still an interest for that employee to come back and still work with us. So, uh, wow, that's so how wow, your company is nice. Yes. Most of the BPO companies um, in particular are like that. The so I don't show up for don't. work. Then the next day, I demand to continue to work because I'm interested in working still. I love it. Mm -hmm. I still have an interest well, to stay actually, here. I'm staying. But still, the employee has to explain and would undergo an administration hearing with our compliance and legal department and see if the reason is valid. If not, then that's when we process the termination. Gotcha. Thanks ah, for the call, sweetheart. Yep. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good one. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye-bye. This is Nico's AWOL. I didn't wake up. My <laughs> alarm is broken. Yeah, but see, you know, as, as terrible as that is, um, and it is, it, it's still giving notice about what happened to you. The thing with Derrick Rose is what time is, what time is a game at, at Madison Square Garden? What is it? 6 p.m.? Oh, 7.30. 7.30 yeah. p.m.? Yeah. yeah. Shoot around is what? They have morning shoot around. They yeah. have film session before the game. They get there early, um, so like noon. Like their workday maybe starts at noon. Mm -hmm. So from noon all the way up until seven thirty, tip off up until the t the game is finished, which is what ten p.m. So his workday really is from twelve p.m. to ten p.m. I'm assuming, and he Nothing. did not not one single yeah, yeah, text but, message. But, the, but we shouldn't debate there, Gross, because he's admitted it. I was avoiding them. He said that I didn't pick up the call because I wanted space. I didn't want to be bothered. So like. Yeah, and he's a star. He gets away with his former MVP. He gets away with it. It's just, how do you get away with it when you're not a star? Like, you know, again, we have got a bunch of calls here. How did the hell did you get away with not coming into work? What happened to you? How many days did you disappear? <laughs> and was it for fun reasons? Like, I went to Borajai. I just didn't have any more leave left. So, nag-awolojo. Good morning. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Ah, uh, this is Pao Pao. Pao Pao, go ahead. Really? You yeah. go with that name? Like, that's how you introduce yourself to people? That Pao Pao? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, Good. <laughs> it was 2009, when I was still uh, 14. Hey, in night. Uh, I'm sorry, it was 2009, and what my fault? Uh, I went into a war. Uh, I didn't uh, said to my groupmates that I would go absent that time. Uh huh. And my only alibi is that I was in LBM. LBM? But you actually gave them a reason. Yeah, I gave them a reason. Or was this Pero after? Uh, the fact? Nakakatawa is yung mga, mga superiors ko, the next day, <laughs> nila the pacing ako, of the story. Ah. Uh, uh huh. Bakit ako nawala? Then sinabi ko lang na nag-LBM ako. Pero for the, the true reason is meron lang akong gustong puntahan that day. Okay, so you did, in fact, what everybody has done uh, quite a few times just in this past calendar year. Mm -hmm. Fake a sickness. Pero the funny side is, pagdating ko, uh, nag-report ako yeah. for, for an OPD duty. They think I was truly uh, dehydrated. <laughs> Huh? What? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Because you, you, yeah, you faked LBM, then they saw you, they thought you were dehydrated, so they gave you another day off. Yeah. Hilarious. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's All the right. funny part, that I get. Yeah. That is got hilarious. It. Thanks, no. man. All right. Thank Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> you got to call us back, tell that story again next time we talk about LBM. That was awesome. Oh, Thanks, man. That I Love that guy. Oh. Pow, pow. <laughs> Hi, my name is Pao Pao. Really? That's your name? No. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's how you introduce yourself to people? No, 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 no. Uh, he goes by, no, 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 no. Like there's something wrong with us. <laughs> I'm not fine.
on to this topic anymore, even though we've got a bunch of calls. Should we get out of here? Lines are full, though. Really? Your call. All right. uh, one more. Can we get Fine. one good story? All right, all right. Hello. Hello. Uh, hello, good morning. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is John. Hi, John. John, go ahead. Uh, yung sa akin yung story ko, uh, I will not go to work without uh, telling it to my superior. Okay. <laughs> Napat lang. <laughs> Napat lang. Thank you, Captain Obvious. And then? <laughs> Tapos, the following day, tatanong yun ako, Uy, ano nangyari sa'yo? Ganyan, uh, boss, may problem lang, personal, ganon. Tapos, parang naging habit ko na siya. Pag anytime na gusto kong hindi pumasok, uh, di na ako nagsasabi. So, yung work namin sa sales siya. So, parang kay Derrick Ross, so kung star player ka, you Who's can Derek get Ross? away with it. Ah, uh, so you're you're the so you're a star player in your company. You just decide not to go to work whenever you feel like it, and you don't tell anybody. Yes. That's what you. Wow, look at you. What do you do? And then I just sales. got promoted. And you just got promoted. What do you do for a living? Your sales? Oh sales. Yeah. Yeah. And how much does Derek Ross make a month uh, doing this? Like, what does a star player in your company make? Uh, you should uh, have say at least uh, eight and above units. Okay. Oh, Cars. Uh, real Car estate. sales. Uh, automotive. Uh, auto sales, yeah. Mm. Oh. Tapos, yung kota mo na 8, kayang-kaya. Kaya naman. So, oh. anytime kasi yung... I live at uh, Manila. So, my work is in Alaba- Alabang. So, pag na-feel ko na wala naman akong gagawin, uh, di na lang ako papasok. Jesus And do you do do you do what the um, auto salesmen do wherein... When you come in the next day, you you have the forms, the client forms, and you say, "Nde, may ano? Meron akong client meet kahapon." Uh, or you, do, you, you you don't even bother at all. Uh, we called it a official business or yeah, OB. itinerary slip. Pero sa case ko, hindi rin ako gumagawa. So in short, uh, wala akong time in or time out in a day. Right. I right. have one last question because so, I again I'm so bored with this topic, but I I really need to ask this. So, do you car salesman guys, if you get, I guess, assigned to the Alabang branch, considering a lot of the people that live down there have so much money, like that's that's where you want to be. That's the Golden State Warriors of the branch because you know people are going to buy compared to, say, if you get stuck on a branch maybe in a neighborhood that doesn't have a lot of purchasing power, you have a harder time selling eight units. Because like, I feel like when you're in Alabang, you can sell eight units because there are people buying cars all the time down there. Yes. Definitely. Okay. So profound. Thank you. Yeah. Have a, have a good day. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 No, oh, I... let's put this topic to death. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Topic I know. Ito, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Get out of here. Bye. From halfway across the globe, it's Mo Twister. In Manila, it's Sam and Nico Ramos. Good times. It's nice to have you guys here. Sorry, did I take that from you, Sam? Was I no, you know what? I, I wasn't even thinking about it. And then okay. and then I realized like, maybe like five seconds into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's cool. Sorry about that. <laughs> I took your spiel. <laughs> um, uh, my name is Mo. That's Sam. That's Nick Ramos. Phone number 61 through 899 if you want to call us. We're half an hour away uh, before we finish today's episode. Nico, are you ready with your article? <laughs> Absolutely, I am. GMANetwork.com um, is reporting that Nickelodeon, the TV network, yeah. has oh, yeah. apparently announced that they will build an underwater resort and theme park in Palawan. Palawan? What? Palawan. How do you do it, that? How it, do you do an underwater resort? I don't know, but they are looking at building a park um, that would be part of a 400-hectare undersea development showcasing the area's marine life. And they said the goal is to, quote, interact with a brand and the iconic characters that they love. Ah, so yung uh, little Einstein's gonna be under there, si Sophia the First, the... Bro, all of those good ones. <laughs> Bro, you're the only one who's uh, well versed <laughs> in Nickelodeon. Uh, uh, excited, okay. Just be in and then, all right. Um, oh, wait, but it's gonna be in Palawan. Yeah, and while um, at first glance it might be exciting, an underwater theme park, Nickelodeon, SpongeBob, SpongeBob, Dora the Explorer, whatever. Um, environmental group Greenpeace um, is very concerned. They said, "quote It's sad and alarming because a theme park that big will not promote environmental protection by building those structures." I'm concerned. I need to see the plants because I, when I hear underwater resort, underwater theme park, like 
there's nothing above the ground. Like that, that's, it's, it's interesting to me. But again, at the same time, I think most people are going to be pissed off because we're talking about. I mean, you're gonna Palawan, have to. Yeah, you're gonna is... have to get rid of a lot of marine life down there to build. There's structures. I mean, for... yeah, I think that's a concern. I think there's a fine line between providing an opportunity for people to enjoy um, the beauty of, of of Palawan, and at the same time, doing a little too much that it'll mess with the ecological balance, I guess. Yeah. Of, uh, of you you don't seem there. to have that problem with how we have raped Boracay already. So I, you, I know, think, you guys still enjoy, right? Well, I, I mean, I guess that's our cautionary tale, yeah. isn't it? And that's not even underwater. Yeah, but my point is you guys still enjoy the Boracay experience, yes? Even though it is party, establishments, fast food chains already, all of that stuff is there, yes? But I think the experience is different between Palawan and Boracay. You go to Boracay to have fun, to party. Um, you go to Palawan, you know, for more usual reasons, you go to the beach or to the ocean, you know, to swim, snorkel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are we saying, and, and I'm with you if we are, are we saying Palawan is untouchable, guys? Like, if you want, fine. We've already destroyed Boracay. You want to go there, you want to vomit on the ocean, and you want to, you know, put use condoms, throw in the water. That's fine with us because we have a place for that. Don't put anything on Palawan. Palawan is still our pristine, ruin your life sunsets in a good way. Like, don't mess with it, is what you're saying. I think, yes. We, yeah, perhaps, yeah, yeah. Let's see if this makes you feel um, any better. The. Philippine uh, partner of Viacom, which is who owns Nickelodeon, says they, quote, we are taking very, very careful steps to, to very careful measures th uh, to ensure that the biodiversity is kept intact. So that is their guarantee. Oh, they didn't guarantee it, though. So 631 how do you feel about putting up more? Because I guess it's super obvious, right? If we go, how do you feel about putting structures up in Palawan? Well, everybody's going to call and say no, right? I don't Isn't know. Will obvious? they? Let's take some calls and find out, shall we? How much do you right. love well, SpongeBob? Uh, one, la okay, one last thing, though, real quick, before you take the yeah. calls. And we have some here. You, you, have you guys been to Palawan? Yes. Yes. Are you happy with the amount of resorts already there? Like, because you're going to have to have a place to stay, and it has to be nice. Mm hmm. So are you happy with the amount that they've done already, or is it already oversaturated? Where are you with how? Like, how do you feel about Palawan as we speak? I don't know if I am like well versed enough with you know the resorts that are available and whatever. But when I went, um, I didn't think there was a shortage of of resorts or places to stay, especially when you go to like the the busier areas like Coron or whatever. I would I would say areas like Coron are probably pretty saturated there are a lot of dive resorts and, there but, but Coron is our jewel though right that's our well the El Nido is probably our big one right that's the ruin your life sunset and El Nido is pretty populated already right so, so what's another one yeah I right, don't know if there's point. a shortage really yeah okay all right so the topic then is not is Palawan untouchable because it's been plenty touched <laughs> I suppose Hello? hi really feels morning like it. hi um I've been to both and uh, parang at some point in your life, you want you want a Boracay because you're you're young. You want to party. You want to then go um, to Boracay, but, Dick. Nga, yeah, no. that's why. But <laughs> yeah. when I get older, I'm not. I don't like Boracay anymore. Okay. Oh, you're so talking about Boracay and Palawan. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you said you've been yeah. to both, say Coron and El Nido. Okay, so yeah. right, right, like, you're I right. Don't, okay. I don't enjoy Boracay anymore. I especially don't enjoy Le Boracay anymore. Because it's ano eh, parang you want you want a, you want peace and quiet. And Palawan has peace and quiet. Um, Does it really? I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, really, man. it is. It really is. I think you go to Palawan, like for the most part, it really is for peace you and quiet and nature. Right. And, yes. Yeah. Instead of yeah, like, you, 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 you enjoy nature scene. there. Yeah. I you know, but time out. I'm, I'm sorry. I, again, because Palawan's massive, right? In a sense. But yet the places, mm. the common places are pretty small. What are you talking about? Like, um, you've been to Palawan. What parts? Coron, El Nido, where have you gone? In Puerto Princesa, if you see Palawan, like you don't you don't see yung mga um, big yung mga big branch, yung mga big stores, yung mga big anything. Like um, there's only parang koti lang yung jolly bilang ata doon. You experience I'm not sure it. If I agree. Are you go picking up. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yung parang it's not it's not as commercialized. 
that's what's so enjoyable about it. You you enjoy the local local cuisines there. Um, they're not they're not as invaded by um, brands that you can see here. So I'm not sure if I agree with that. I, I, I've it's, been it's I've been there more... a couple times. It seems to be kind of packed already, especially if you're talking about Puerto Princesa. I mean, that's that's a city already. Uh, Again, maybe we're just going to different places. But but thanks for the call, buddy. Thank I, you. I, I do appreciate it. We, we have a bunch of calls here. Thanks, man. Bye bye. I think I said when, you, when you go to yeah. Boracay, you know there is that one strip of beach where everything is right. Mm-hmm. Like that's what sure. everyone experiences as Boracay. Palawan is a bit more diverse, so you have areas like I guess we can call it like the parang downtown area where it's busier. There's you know it's more commercial, and then you can just go away to like some remote island. So you you have a variety and you of feel things like you're that you alone can do. There. Yeah. Okay. So maybe the question is, what do you want for Palawan? As a Filipino, what do you want for this area? It's still kind of your own, right? It's your place. So what do you want? Because mm-hmm. hey, if we talk about like what's there, what's not, we all have our maybe a different outlook on it. I think it's pretty packed. I think even the the, the remote islands that you see in those photos, those are packed already. Now, what I when you say you want relaxation in nature. I'm talking about living like Survivor. You go there and good luck. But some of us want high-end stuff. Some of us want a really nice resort with all of this fancy air conditioning and television and internet service. And all of a sudden, those things need infrastructure. And that is available in Palawan if you go to it one of the fancier resorts. Sure. So, and then you so can also do the Survivor I'm... thing in Palawan too. Really? Can I've you, done it. I've, I've, can, I went to an island. Can be in... Survivor? I went to an island in in the Palawan area and did that. Like I just super roughed it up, slept by but the shore. But is it is it El Nido beautiful still? I've never still? been to El Nido, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, because I want to go where I can get malaria. Yeah, you so know, like I want to go <laughs> where it's super you, remote. You do that, yeah. Okay. I think the sentiment is that it's okay the way it is right now. Because mm. Sam's right. Like you know, Mo, if you want if you want your survivor stuff, there's somewhere to do it. Right. Um, if you want to enjoy peace, quiet, but at the same time stay in an air conditioned room in a nice hotel with breakfast in the morning, there's places for that also. A huge So what if Nickelodeon says, Okay, I'm gonna go to the places where there's already resorts and everything like that. Don't complain. There's a bunch of them here and then they make their underwater whatever over there. I think that's the question. Is the that underwater how part how is... do you feel about because I mean, you know, just playing devil's advocate here, this is going to bring in huge business. Mm-hmm. Huge business because. Oh, she's pretty. She's Dora na sa ilalim ng tubig. I saw the first and a huge global brand like Nickelodeon, and you know the the properties that they carry and the characters that they have will make Palawan. I mean, it's already a global destination, but you know, even more, it expands its market not just okay, to okay, couples. Okay, okay, right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, you're saying it's gonna be huge, right? Okay, so say Sam and I in her two piece bikini all lying down. I'm like, ooh, Sam, you want me to rub some lotion on your back? Rubbing on her back, and then SpongeBob walks in and goes, "Hey guys." One nice You're like, what happened? I was looking at the sunset, enjoying the, the the monkeys, and enjoying all of these great things that Palawan has to offer. And then, goddamn, SpongeBob just walked by, and it, you know, in a it, it ruins the entire thing. Yes. Well, it's I SpongeBob. Mean, what the hell is he doing here? Ha! Huh. I my biggest problem is the underwater part of this this whole thing. Me also. Like, how is that gonna pan out? How is this gonna affect the uh, marine life over there? It's gonna be awesome. That's though. my I mean, concern. Like, it's Nickelodeon. You know they're gonna do good. All right, lines are full. Let's go. Morning. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes. Hey, this is Manu. Hi, Manu. What's Hi, Manu. up, Manu? Yeah. So, uh, just to get one thing straight. Yeah, I'm also not happy about Nickelodeon trying to build an underwater theme park. Mm-hmm. But it's also unconstitutional. Like, legally, it's not possible. Because, you know, like the, work, the company I work with, we've been trying to... Well, we've already bought land and we've been converting land into an industrial type of land so that we could build on it. And it's not that easy. In Palawan? Uh, so, is this in Palawan? Or? Um, in, well, basically, by law, it's not easy anywhere in the Philippines because by law, you cannot own more than five hectares of agricultural land. Okay. And in Palawan, everything that's not built on, it's still agricultural land. So we'll have to buy five hectares eight times. If I'm not mistaken, they want to build 40 hectares of a theme park. So they Did have you to see 40? Buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Four, okay. 400. Yeah. So have, 400. I thought it was 400. Oh, yeah. 400. So I, heard, I heard hundreds. Eight, yeah. 80 times. You can't own more than five hectares of agricultural land. 
for a certain amount of time. And if you want to have to convert it to industrial land, you can only really convert it five hectares at a time. If you need to convert more than five hectares, it's going to take years. Oh, so, this is so interesting. Uh, yeah, in theory, yeah. right? But I mean, again, we always say this where, oh, we're in the Philippines, though, you know what I mean? Like, the, yeah, the thing, it, the difference between um, Tawa and other parts of the Philippines is the LGU doesn't have exactly uh, absolute power over Palawan. It's the DNR, the Environmental Management Board. And that's just for agricultural land. I mean, for, the, for stuff like underwater, I think that marine life is. If I'm not mistaken, it's also protected under special okay, environmental... Okay, uh, all right, sure. right, the lesson. Okay, but would they come out with a press release saying that they were going to do this if they didn't think they couldn't do it? Like, if they, 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 I mean, like, they think they can do it. They think it's possible. They probably researched it and had somebody give, somebody give the green light for them to pull it off. So while we appreciate the lesson in constitutional <laughs> law and all of that stuff... And I don't doubt it. They seem to be confident to be able to pull it off right that's why they announced such a thing uh, okay uh, um we had the same confidence in actually announcing to our investors thing i'm also part of a very large group in the philippines um of course i can't really get into details yeah uh, we had that confidence but <laughs> once you actually talk to the lg you want to talk to the dnr it's not that easy and of course as, and as, actually right now um, President Duterte might declare a moratorium, meaning you can't convert any land for an indefinite amount of time. It's actually uh, something that they might do. So that's also one big hurdle they have to overcome. So I think okay. from a personal perspective, from my opinion, uh, I don't think people should yes. be worried about Because right now it's not legally possible. Even if Nicolodian wanted to pay off people, it's not legally possible right now. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. But what if I, 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 I see his point and I do not doubt, you know, his knowledge and his expertise in, in the law. However, that's also the same attitude I had about Donald Trump. I, I wouldn't worry about it. There's no way. It's impossible. I'm, I'm just, I mean, if you were a business that, you know, had investors and all that and you, were, you announced it, I, like, I would just think you would get the whole like legal thing out of the way first before you of announce course. this stuff. Um, yes. The Palawan Council for Sustainable Sustainable Development, they are a government body um, in the region, obviously. They've said that the project had yet to be approved by them. Uh, but that's the Council for Sustainable Development. So I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing phrases like yet and not easy. I should be hearing phrases like impossible and not allowed. I'm when I you. hear not easy, that means possible. I'm when you. I hear yet, that means eventually. Yeah. So... Uh, if the law says no, it's no. Not not easy, not yet. It's no. And, it and if you haven't heard the word no, guess what? We're going to have it on the water theme park. And it doesn't seem like they're intending to convert any land because they want to go below sea level. 20 feet below sea level is where they say they'll have the restaurants oh. and the lounges. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't wait. Can't wait. I can't wait for the whole, uh, what happens if this caves in? <laughs> and we're all going to drown with oh. uh, questions. Um... All right. Well, we got a bunch of calls. Do we have enough time to take one more? Uh, let's do one more. Yeah. All right. Morning. Hi. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Hey. Yeah. Uh, this reaction first, no? Uh, we Filipinos tend to react kagad. Uh, we haven't seen the plans, etc. And number Humans. two, we're in Palawan. Uh, there are two main groups of islands in Palawan. First, the Princess side and Pron side. My opinion is, if they're going to put a a world-class resort. It will be probably in Coron. Um, it's possible uh, that the group of islands in Coron can be converted into a resort. There's nothing impossible in the Philippines as long as you got legal legislation to back it up. So once it's converted, it can be created in a world-class resort. And Are you help, okay with that? Is the in question. Palawa. Okay, again, let's stay away from the legalities real quick here, just yeah. for topic's sake, right? Because there's an announcement. We're not, maybe the last guy, a little bit more of an expert than most of us regarding this. We're generally not lawyers or constitutional law masters or any of that stuff. Let's just talk about it as tourists or in citizens. Are you okay with more development for resorts, especially a 400 hectare one in Palawan? Are the you okay you with dialed. that? <laughs> I don't care about you, woman. I'm talking about oh, recording. Does anybody get my point? I do. Yeah. I have to give a rat's ass about the law. 
Right, I'm talking right. about they announced it. How do you feel about it? That's the question. No, yeah. Um, you know, I my initial thoughts on this is I don't want this. Um, it's alarming to me. Um, that's that. Yeah. Uh, for me, I, I mean, I've, I've said it before, like my great fear of the ocean does not make me crazy about an underwater theme park anyway. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a cross between Jurassic Park and SpongeBob to me, which is a nightmare. So I... If this doesn't go through, I really would not lose sleep over it. I am pro this pr uh, project. Why? I say, oh, when I go to the beach, that's above water. Oh my if god! I can go underwater. You're so lame. Right? <laughs> lang. If You're I can go, so lame. If I can go underwater, right, in Palawan, and spend oh. all my time there, tapos hindi ako iitim. <laughs> Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> Tapos, but Go in Go in with 500 hectares. Yes. Uh, right? I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> aircon pa, di mo kailangan mag board shorts. Oh, may aircon. Di na kailangan na. Hindi sayang yung gluta ko. All of it. Dundee on Twitter says, why don't you just put it in Boracay so you can call it Dora and Bora? <laughs> Ganda. Ganda. <laughs> Makes sense. Ganda. To me. <laughs> That's true. Uh, 2020, by the way, is the target date of opening. That's not too far away. That is not too far away. That's shortly after the Coldplay concert. No, I, I love it. Okay, yeah. No, let's do it. I'm, I'm okay with it. Mm mm. No. No. I don't like the ocean. Eh. So. Well, I, you know, we'll see. I guess how this develops. All right. Yeah. It's just, you know, SpongeBob's going to be the one going, oh, uh, Jitski, Jitski, Jitski. Tapos na dapat, banana dapat, Jitski. Tapos pag nag-open ng Instagram ako, nandun ako eh, no? <laughs> Siyempre. <laughs> Hipokrit, no? <laughs> That's right. You're gonna be lining it up, lining up to go to that place. All right, let's get out of here. Back after this, don't go away. From halfway across the globe, it's Mo Twister. In Manila, it's Sal and Nico Ramos. Good times. Nilakbay mo ang traffic mula bahay hanggang opisina. Inakyat mo ang gabundok na dokumento sa mesa mo. Nilaway mo ang dagat ng mga revisions ng boss mo. At naitawid mo ang iyong mga deadline. Congratulations! Lunch break na! You deserve a staycation! McDonald's new mushroom pepper steak. Burger patty topped with pepper cream sauce and sliced mushrooms. 55 pesos lang with rice and drink.